Alright, David Harry here. So in this video, I'm going to be doing an SSD speed test and comparing the speeds from the Samsung S23 Ultra here and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, for anybody who doesn't want to go scrolling through the video just to get to the end and trigger adverts and all that stuff, I can tell you right now, the iPhone absolutely destroys the S23 Ultra in this speed test and it is actually quite shocking and it absolutely shocked me. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is just explain the setup here and then I will go through the individual speed tests and time them and stuff. So there's going to be a read and a write for both the S23 Ultra and also the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Right from here, I'll probably just call this the Samsung and this the iPhone or whatever. We know exactly what I'm talking about here. So anyways, I'm going to be using this T7 drive here. Now this T7 drive is a one terabyte one and this has been formatted to XFAT. Now the reason it's on XFAT is so that the S23 Ultra can read and write to it. Obviously the iPhone could do as well, but this drive originally was set to APFS for the iPhone. But like I say, it's set to XFAT. Also as well, what I'm using here is a Thunderbolt 4 cable. Now what's important to note about here is that let me show you this is a cal digit thunderbolt 4 cable so this is a totally licensed one from like intel and stuff so it's got intel technology in it now just a quick thing about this although this is a thunderbolt 4 cable and obviously both of these devices are not thunderbolt thunderbolt 4 cables are totally backwards compatible with usb-c cables and stuff like that or usb-c devices now what's really important to know here this is possibly the highest possible quality cable that you can get I've already done tests with it on the iPhone and this cable actually does allow me to get slightly better speeds and also I've tested it with the s23 ultra against the best USB-C cable that I have and once again this cable is just ever so slightly better even on the s23 ultra so just like I don't want anybody thinking well what's he doing with the Thunderbolt cable here for USB-C devices the whole point is is that this is a very high quality cable and it works on both the devices and it's totally backwards compatible to USB-C. Okay, so I will now start the tests. Okay, so the first phone that I'm going to test here is the S23 Ultra. So let me just go to the My Files app here. Now what I'm going to do is to just connect the Thunderbolt cable to the phone there and then I will connect the other end to the T7. It doesn't matter which one you insert first, it, it's just that that was closest to me. Okay, so let me just put this here. Now what I'm going to do is bring another phone in here to use as a stopwatch. Um, let's see, is this all okay? Right, what it is, we, you know, it is what it is, the way everything's positioned on the screen. It's all going to move about a little bit. The only thing that we're really concerned about here are the numbers. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'll go to the external storage there. Now, weirdly enough, it says that the file that I'm about to be testing is only 67.08 gigabytes in size. It actually isn't. It's actually bigger than that. I haven't got a clue why that's not reporting it as the right file size, but the the thing is here it doesn't matter whatever it thinks the size of that file is because the file is the same file that I will be using on the iPhone so therefore all the timings are going to be correct although this isn't registering the right file size it's more like 72 gigabytes anyways what I'm going to do here I'm just going to do a copy of this so there we go copy let me just come back here now what i'm going to do is select the internal storage so what i will do i'm going to paste it onto there or copy here and then hit start as soon as i can on the stopwatch here so give us a second so copy start okay right so what we're doing here then is testing the speed for reading off the t7 and writing to the s23 ultra okay now what i'm going to do i'm not going to play this right the way through because this would be mega boring so i'm just going to speed this up right now and then i'll come in just at the end so we can get the timing for this particular way round where we're moving the data Okay, I'm just going to come back in here and get ready to hit stop as soon as that file's gone over, so stop. Okay, so that was 5 minutes and 34 seconds. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is the other way round. So what we're going to do is read the file from the S23 Ultra and write it to the T7. So 
Let me just reset the stopwatch there. In fact, let me just line that up a bit more. <laughs> I know things not being straight gets on people's nerves, so let me just get that one straight before anyone gives me any jip in the comments. Right, so what we need to do then is go to the external drive, and I need to erase that, so I'm going to delete that. Okay. Uh, do I need to empty a bin or anything if it's external? I'll do it anyway. No, it's not even in the bin. That's cool. Okay, you'll have to excuse me here because what it is, I'm going to get really confused. My puny little brain can't handle moving from Android to iOS and back, you know, backwards and forwards. Anyway, shut up, Dave, and get on with it. So what I'm going to do here is go to the internal storage. No, I won't. That's the internal storage. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is select that to copy. So there's copy. Now I'm gonna come back out. I will go to the external storage there. And then once again, I'm just gonna hit copy here and then hit start as fast as I can. Give us a second. There we go. Okay, so what we're doing here then is reading from the S23 Ultra and writing to the T7. And once again, I'm just going to speed this up and then come in right back at the end and then get a timing off this actual speed test here. Okay, so once again, I'm going to come back in here and get ready to hit stop, stop. Okay, I'm going to call that 3 minutes and 32 seconds, so let me just write that down. Okay, so what I'm going to do now are the same two tests, but this time with the iPhone. So once again, I'll just plug the cable into the iPhone. Again, it doesn't matter whether you plug the cable into the phone first or the T7 first. This doesn't matter. Once again, it was just the closest thing to me. So let me just get that on the table there. And let me try and get the kink out the cable so I can maybe sit that a bit better and get the get the phone a bit straighter this time maybe. And then once again, I'm going to bring this stopwatch in. So what I'm going to do now is go to the Files app here. And then if we go to the T7, as we can see, there's the file. And then if I come back to the iPhone and if I go to on my iPhone, there's no file there, obviously. So let me just go back to the T7. Now, interestingly here, as we should be able to see, the file is now coming up as being 72.03 gigabytes in size. Now, it is actually a 72 gigabyte file. I do not know why uh, the S23 Ultra was saying it was like slightly smaller than that. Not entirely sure because all, these should all be measuring in like bits as being a thousand. So they should be exactly the same, but I'm not going to get into it. Anyways, so the first thing to do is uh, let's see, we're going to measure the time that it takes to read the file from the T7 to the iPhone. So what I'm going to do here is select the file and hit copy. I remembered where it was. Okay, oops, browse. I will go to the internal storage on the phone. And once again, I'm going to try my best to start them as soon as I drop the file and then hit start. So if you give us a second, I'll just hold the screen there. Get ready. So paste start and once again the same thing here i am just going to speed through this and then i will come back just towards the end and we'll get a timing for it okay i'm going to come back in here and when this blue dot is full and it's saved i'm going to hit stop let's see boom stop okay so that was one minute and 46 seconds 0.53 i'm going to call that one minute and 47 seconds okay so what i'm going to do now is the other way around so we're going to read from the iphone and go to the t7 so let me just come back here i'll go to the t7 actually did i mention before as well that the t7's actually come up with its name i can't remember the t7 actually didn't come up with its name on the s23 ultra i can't remember if i mentioned it before anyway so what i'm going to do there is go to the t7 and then what i'm going to do is delete the file from the t7 there um, again, do I need to empty the bin here? No, because it's on an external drive. It doesn't matter. Okay, I will, let's see, I'll hit, re no, reset. There we go, David, you've done it right. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go onto the iPhone's internal storage there, and I will do a copy here. So where are we? Copy. I will come back here, and then I will go to the T7, and once again, I'm going to do that thing where to try and drop it and start at the same time. So... Let me see, where is it? Uh, paste, let's go here. So paste and start. Okay, right, so once again, I am just going to speed through this and then come in at the end and let's see what this number's like.
Okay, I'm going to come back here. Let me try and hit stop and that blue spot goes all full and stuff. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to call that two minutes and nine seconds. Okay, so as we can immediately see there, it's very clear that the S23 Ultra is nowhere near as fast as the iPhone. However, what I'm going to do now is just make some calculations and let's actually look at the real numbers here as far as megabytes per second are concerned. Okay, so having stressed out my puny little simian brain, here are the results. Now, the thing is, I'm going to call this file 72 gigabytes and that's because that's what it is registered on most devices it was slightly over but i'm going to call it 72 gigabytes so that comes out at 72,000 megabytes so that's what we're going to base the calculations from so the t7 to the s23 ultra took five minutes and 34 seconds which is 334 seconds. So if we divide 72,000 by 334, we get 215. So that's 215 megabytes per second. Then when we go from the S23 Ultra to the T7, that took three minutes and 32 seconds, and that is 212 seconds. So 72,000 divided by 212 equals 339, which is 339 megabytes per second. Then moving over to the iPhone, when we went from the iPhone to the T7, that took two minutes and nine seconds, which is 129 seconds. So 72,000 divided by 129 equals 558. So that is 558 megabytes per second. Then when we go from the T7 to the iPhone, that took one minute and 47 seconds, and that comes out as 107 seconds. So 72,000 divided by 107 equals 672, which is 672 megabytes per second. So as we can clearly see there, the iPhone 15 Pro Max absolutely devastated the Samsung S23 Ultra. Okay, so as far as an end summary is concerned then, I'll try and keep this as short as I can, although there's obviously a lot of things going on here which probably need a bit more of a conversation. Anyways, the one thing that I'm absolutely truly shocked about is just how big that difference was. Now what it is, I've had the S23 Ultra for a while now, and this has been the fastest phone that I've ever had as far as its like ability to transfer data is concerned to and from external drives. Now you have to remember the previous iPhones were only running at 480 megabits per second. And the thing with that is that's basically USB 2 speeds. Now as it happens, the new 15 and 15 Plus are also limited to that speed. So the S23 Ultra would absolutely destroy the 15 and the 15 plus however because the pro and the pro max are using 10 gigabits per second as far as their data speeds are then that's where we see this huge uplift because the s23 ultra only uses 5 gigabits per second now let me just explain something here quickly as well these measurements where it says 10 and 5 gigabits per second what it is there are eight bits in a byte so if we translate that back to bytes we have to divide it by eight so 10 gigabits per second equals 1250 megabytes per second and then five gigabits per second being half of that is obviously divided by eight as far as the bits are concerned ends up being 625 megabytes per second so as you can clearly see there there is a massive difference within the bandwidth as in it's twice as fast between 5 gigabits and 10 gigabits however that doesn't explain what's gone on here because this drive is well fast enough for it to have basically almost have throttled out or like maxed out the speed on the s23 ultra and as we could clearly see with those speeds they were no near 625 megabytes per second now we could also say well you know 
the iPhone didn't actually go that much higher than that and that's got a faster USB-C bus well the reason why it didn't is because the T7 has only going to have a maximum speed either way which is obviously around the 600 to 650 megabytes per second mark something like that now the T7 isn't particularly rated at like 5 gigabits per second I don't think however it does seem to be operating around that speed but nonetheless we should have been seeing speeds around the 600 megabytes per second mark on the s23 ultra and we simply weren't so again i don't know why that is also there is a discrepancy between the read times and the write times and that is actually on both of these devices now why that is i am not entirely sure either like i say there's a bit more deep dive and that needs to be going on here but the bottom line is simply that this particular iPhone 15 Pro Max is a lot faster than the S23 Ultra when it comes to reading and writing data across its USB-C port. Okay, so that should just about do it for this video then. And the one thing that I would like to make clear here as well is that I am not a fanboy in any way of either of these phones or, you know, Samsung versus Apple and stuff like that. Anybody familiar with my stuff will know that I've already got an s23 ultra and a flip 5 and a bunch of other android phones and i also have used a lot of like you know the tab s series tablets as well at the same time i've got a lot of apple stuff as well i basically just use stuff that i like to use it's as simple as that so anyway with that said please do give the video a thumbs up one way or the other if you've liked what you've seen here and maybe if you've really liked it consider subscribing to my channel because i will be doing more stuff to do with some of this Apple and Samsung stuff coming up. There'll be a lot more iPhone stuff only because that's out at the moment, but I will be revisiting stuff with the Flip 5 and the S23 Ultra to do with camera testing and various other things like that. Also, there will be Amazon links in the description below for everything that's being used in the video. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.